A safety disclaimer and that is if you have knee pain, low back pain or you don't feel it well, please don't do this workout because it will cause more harm than good. Be sure to visit a qualified physio and get a proper rehab. And once you get clearance, come check it out this training. The 100 squats workout. So basically we'll be doing 10 different variety of squats and this really benefits the legs, it helps the cardio and if you're new to training, when you squat, remember you must move your hip. If you don't move your hip, you just squat, what will happen is it will become a CC squat which is nothing wrong but hey, you want to keep it safe so move your hip, sit backward and how low you should squat, I would say do your best if you can squat knee to hip parallel, that's awesome but if you don't feel comfortable, be sure to just drop to a half squat or use a chair version. Right, so enough of talk, let's get our workout in. Let's go! The first variation is a standard squat. So, shoulder width apart or slightly wider than shoulder width, toe pointing outward, go sit back, and there's one rep. Next. Next variation from here, we'll be going a little bit wider. This is the sumo version or wide stance, toe pointing outward and your knees open up. Yeah? Go! Just like this. Next. Right, so when you do squat, try not to collapse your knee inward. It creates a lot of tension to your kneecap, so just squat outward, yeah? And the third variation, this is the tough one and pretty dangerous. So if you're new to training, I suggest you not to go all the way down, and that is the narrow version of squat. So shoulder width, if you are super advanced, you can go super close. But for me, shoulder width and sit backward. Go. Maintain a straight line of knee. Arms forward. If you notice that my arms going forward every time on the squat is to get the balancing. It's not necessary to go all the way down. Next. All right. Fourth variation is a pop version. From white stance, Go. you're gonna step and repeat. Next. Next, this is a combination of a squat and a lunge. So how to do this is you have to first do a squat and then a jump, back lunge, back to a squat. And each squat is one rep, right? Let's go. Go. Rest. So I'm going to take a quick break and if you feel like you don't need a break, you can carry on. I recommend for most of you, including myself, to take at least one to two minute break. See you in a short one. I am ready for the second half. So for second half, first version is going back to the basic squat, is a squat pause. So this version is a very good practice for you to practice the depth and that is using a hip Sitting Go. backward and pause for two, pause, one, two, and that's one rep. Next, 
side to side. Take a step, go, squat, and that's one rep. Next. Okay, this is the killer, and that is split squat, aka it's a lunge, but still both legs. Yep, so it's a squat family. So for this exercise, you want to land soft because it's a jumping movement. So start with the lunges over here. Go. When you jump up, you've got to switch fast, keep yourself low. One. Next. Ah. Yeah, so close. Two more variations. Give it a shake. This is what I normally do when my muscles starting to get fatigued to release the stress, the tension. Second last of all is a squat jump. But we won't be doing squat jump like rapidly. We'll be doing one by one. And that is start from Go. squat. You want to jump and land soft and back to recover to a normal squat. Just one rep. Three. Land soft. Four. Next. Right. Last of all, carry on with me. Squat jump again. But this time, we'll be doing the rapid version. That means squat. When you land down, back to the second rep. Right? Remember, land off and you don't think that. If you think that you can't keep it up, just do whatever you can. Follow the alternative. Last 10. Let's go. Go. Yeah, so there's 100 squats for you. Now, what if I tell you that this is only one round? <laughs> Just kidding. It's up to you. If you feel that you can carry on, you can take this as a one round, do this about two rounds, three rounds, up to you, or even 10 rounds if you're crazy. That's about 1,000 squats, right? So this is the example. What you can do at home, rather than just 100 basic squats, you can play with all this variety. Feel free to repeat this video and if you want more training, as usual, download my training app because this is just part of it. So many more from gym, home workout, and there'll be more updates coming up soon. Keep on training, and I wish you all the best. There.